Hi, 大家好，大家好，我是来自美国的崔璀璨。Hi, my name is Susan, and I'm Tristan's mother. I thought you're gonna be Chinese. Oh, 大家好。我有跟我妈拍过不少影片吧，有提到说她有住过台湾。我想可能会有一些人好奇，她怎么会去台湾？其实我自己也不太清楚为什么。去去找我之后会决定住在台湾，所以今天问一下他，然后了解一下他的想法。Do you want to say it in English, like just more briefly? Oh, okay. Yeah, I said because I, I, I kind of know what we're doing, but okay. I said、um, you've been in a couple of my videos, and I've definitely、mm. mentioned you before. And when I mention you, I say that like, oh, you lived in Taiwan before. Not a lot, but some people think that I like my parents are like Taiwanese or something, <laughs> or that like maybe I live in Taiwan because of you, and. They're、It's、the opposite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So,、mm. I said that's what we're going to be talking about today, and we have some coffee here. We do. Is、and、there a reason we're having coffee while we're doing this? We want. We wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's rewind back to 2011. Oh,、um, because the first time I went to Taiwan was 2012. So let's say 2011, then and before. What was your impression of Taiwan? I didn't know much about it at all. So if somebody said Taiwan, what would you think of? Um, I wasn't sure where it was. <laughs> yeah. Did you know what continent or like region of the world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I knew it was an Asian country. Yeah. So I'm living in Taiwan for a whole year, and you haven't visited at all. What do you remember that was like that piqued your interest from that time? That made you think,、hmm, "Wow, I kind of want to go there." You mean while you were there? Yeah, my first year. I was fascinated with all of it, really.、Mm. I had seen a lot of really cool pictures of places you, you'd gone to visit, and there was such a variety because、yeah. you have the ocean there and you have、mm -hmm. mountains there. I would get to see like Turtle Island, maybe street scenes, and it looked kind of interesting. See things people were selling in the little drink shop, temples and things.、Uh -huh. It always seemed really colorful and interesting, and like like there was a big variety of things, even though you were kind of mostly in a compact area. I believe I lived in Taiwan for two years. Before you visited, what made you decide to visit? Well, maybe you've forgotten, but you kind of were asking us. You know, are you gonna come visit me? I remember like sharing a lot of stories or photos or videos and thinking like, this just doesn't do it justice.、Mm -hmm. So you were there the first time for what two weeks? It was closer to three. Really?、Mm -hmm. and, and my my employer was actually. I, I had worked for them for about nine years at that point,、mm -mm. and I hadn't really ever taken off a big amount of time like that. And they were all really cool about it, and they were kind of excited because they knew you'd been over there. And yeah, yeah, they take so, off from your work.、Huh? And people had to volunteer, you know, and kind of、uh -huh. fill in for my job and stuff. Well,、so、like gone. everybody kind of knew that, like they、oh, did. Susan's going to yeah, Canada. yeah. <laughs> did you mention that you worked at a church? Um, I don't. I mean, I don't think I mentioned this、oh, now.、Okay. I know a lot of people kind of knew, had heard about Taiwan through you, and I remember somebody, somebody going to you at the church and like saying something to somebody else, like, "Oh yeah, Tristan's in Taiwan. It's a city in Japan." <laughs> Yes. They said it like that. Yes,、oh、because for years, I mean, she'd been studying Japanese, and the plan、mm. was, and we'd been hosting a lot of Japanese exchange students, that's briefly or longer term, and so, yeah, the plan was always for her to go to Japan. So when they heard Taiwan, I think they thought Tokyo. I, I don't know. Yeah, because Taipei, Tokyo,、mm. Taiwan, it all starts with T. It does. Do you have anything that sticks out to you as like when you're? Favorite memories, or like your biggest like wow impression of Taiwan from the first three weeks that you were there. Well, I loved Mao Kong, which nobody、oh. does. What? Like, I love、well, Mao Kong.、Too. I I love it. I、yeah. absolutely loved it.、Um, I I told her I'm not going on any gondolas. You're not. <laughs> you're oh not, yeah. Do not take me up there. <laughs> Was it? We went to the zoo first. Uh huh. And then we were walking. And then I see money being put in this thing, and I'm like, "Wait a minute, what? What? I see these things." <laughs> so she kind of just tricked me into it, and then I I couldn't not go. So yeah, did we then, do the ones that with that were like clear? Yeah, <laughs> yes. I actually, ended up being one of my favorite things. So my friends in Taiwan don't think it's that cool. I, If you're、so. from Taiwan and you think Mao Kong is cool, 
please yeah, stop below. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Local is great. Actually, it was just kind of magical. I mean, it was yeah. really pretty up there. There's something more crisp about the air as you you know you go up in elevation. So that was neat. Yeah, and also, I hadn't expected we don't have it. mountains here. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> so so we're able to like be in a in a gondola above the mountains, mm -hmm. like in the mountains, and look down, and, and then be on the mountain to have tea. Wow! Right, and we got to stop and have some food, and I think we stopped for a coffee and like a little dessert. We took the pictures with the sculptures, the cat sculptures. So that was probably one of my biggest highlights, mm. I would say. Wow. One of the other things I really liked, and I developed a love for uh, Mr. Brown's coffee, because we went to the <laughs> coffee castle, and it was your host family, one of your host families, that took us there. Mm -hmm. you, you had several, and they were super sweet. The MRT was a whole new thing for me. Mm, yeah, what do you think of that? This is kind of funny looking back now, because now I get it, but at the time I was like so confused. She wouldn't walk next to me, and I thought she was trying to like get away from me or something, because you would walk in front oh, of me. Oh, yeah. But it's very common to like walk in front of one another there, because you don't have a lot of space this way. Mm. Here, we almost never walk behind each other. Yeah, it almost so, feels rude. Right? Right. Yeah. And so I was like, what, 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 what is she doing? <laughs> yes, she's my daughter. Yes, she's looking out for me. But I was like, if she really did like say, get get on the train and, the door, it, and say that? the door shut, I literally wouldn't have any idea where I was. You have some weird Leo ears in the Oh, brain. <laughs> that's cute. cute. You, yeah. you keep doing you, buddy. At some point, you did have to come back to the US. And at some point, you thought, I'm gonna go back to Taiwan and mm -hmm. live there for a long period of time. What made you make that decision? Well, I think I was jealous. <laughs> I got to see how fun it was there. Mm -hmm. and it, it's very easy to get around. Um, it wasn't expensive to do things. It seems like there was always an adventure, even if it's just getting off the MRT and walking to go, you know, to a spot where you can see Taipei 101 from, or going up into the building. Another thing that occurred to me was you'd been in Taiwan long enough and were liking it so well. I, was, I think that part of me thought, what if, like, you end up just staying here? Don't know anything about the culture. I would show up to maybe visit, and you'd have to, like, I'd be this, like, huge burden to you. And I didn't want that. So I thought, well, if I kind of get a little bit more acclimated, like, I could get myself around some knowledge of how things work here, that that would be a benefit for us in the future. So is that what drove you to decide to learn Chinese? Yes. You decided to go there to learn Chinese. Mm -hmm. You learned Chinese for a year? I, I tried to learn Chinese. Your teacher said that you did try really hard. <laughs> so We would have the written tests. Mm -hmm. I would just drill those into my head and, and I did have one of the teachers tell me, she goes, it's not normal, like you're like scoring like a hundred on almost all these. She said that's not normal for an American, the average American student. <laughs> well, she did say American. But anyway, if we want right. to talk more about language uh, yeah. and you want to hear it and you want to see it, then let me know in the comments below and maybe we can do that in a future thing. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're gonna comment. <laughs> this is Leo and I love him so much. She's like a little puddle of love. He's a black void of love. Your love just gets sucked in. Okay, have fun, buddy. I had a friend who, he had a friend who owned a school. Then I, I got to teach English for a little while. I absolutely loved it. Oh, really, good. really, really loved the kids, loved the school, loved the owner. Okay. And it was a, a great experience and I was enjoying it. <laughs> And then, oh, oh no, let's just say she's had an extensive interaction with the medical, <laughs> medical system For in sure. Taiwan. Long story short, mm. <laughs> you're getting off like the bus one day. Basically anywhere in Taiwan, they have those like brick pathways. Some of those aren't cemented down the best. And I think <laughs> right. there's a reason behind it. Like, so when the the heat like expands it, whatever, it doesn't crack and whatever. I was carrying a lot of books and then I had a backpack as well, also quite heavy. I crossed across a pretty big street and was I was walking fast because I was going to go meet some friends. And so when this thing sent me off balance, I tried to kind of run for a couple steps to see if I could get enough, you know, oomph to get... It, it ended up kind of, I think, doing yeah. the opposite. And you, um, you snapped your femur in a yep. completely, yep. completely snapped. Yeah. But Sorry, I think what I think is funny is that it's just like so dramatic. For a minute, I just oh. 
couldn't figure out what had happened to me, and I was yeah. kind of just like stunned. So and I'm like, you call like an uh, she up an to call the ambulance, and she got all my stuff. My stuff had just kind of gone oh. flying. Like my phone was over there, and my bag and stuff had fallen out. Yeah. She gathered all of it, and she said, "I'll I'll wait here with you until they come." Thanks, this girl. Did did you even have her like contact her? None. I always what? thought every minute was like I was in excruciating pain when she heard the. Like the siren, she goes, that's them, do you hear that? She said, they're coming, it won't be long now. Oh, that's so nice. I wish, I wish you did have her contact. Maybe she'll remember <laughs> me, maybe she'll see this. I know, she that, would be, that would she be really the awesome. Video so we can find whoever this oh. girl is. If you know somebody who might have saved up, <laughs> called an ambulance for some foreign lady. <laughs> I bet she doesn't even know how, how bad it was. Probably Because it was a complete snap. Because she did have to have surgery. Mm. And that's a very invasive surgery. Yeah, it was. And aren't you loaded with metal now or something? I am. <laughs> that actually sent you back to the US. Yeah. You had some like physical therapy you needed to go through. Months, <laughs> yeah. You had to have somebody close caring for you. You couldn't right. go to the job that you had. It was more likely that you should probably come to the back to the US and have dad take care of you for a while. Right. So you actually came back to the US for a while and then you went back to Taiwan. You I just did. can't stay away. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm sure after living so long in Taiwan, so long, <laughs> people in the US will ask you like, like, what is Taiwan like? Oh, I get that question all the time. Yeah. It's a great place, great people, lots of good food, it's really safe. Some of my friends just had a lot of misconceptions. I think it's much, much more modern than what they anticipated. Yeah. They seemed very shocked by like some of the architecture and some yeah. of the things that I saw there. They also seemed to think it was dirtier. Oh. And, and I, yeah. I don't know why, and I'm not really sure where that comes from. When people ask you like, what is Taiwan like? Mm -hmm. What do you say? It's a very adventurous place. There's always another adventure. One like, you know, MRT trip away or high speed rail trip away. One walk away. It's exciting to be there. There's a huge variety of things there as far as food and things to see and do. It's all unique and different depending on where you go. Lots of history there. Mm -hmm. I always say safe because for yeah. some reason Americans think that everywhere else is just dangerous. I feel like mm. the US like culture kind of uses like everywhere else, where else is dangerous to like keep people here. When I tell people, or I even went to Taiwan, they're like, oh, well like, how is it there? Somebody asks you, well then why did you decide to go to Taiwan? What do you say? It was largely because of you. I had the feeling she might be going to stay and I felt that I needed to become able to, you know, visit and eat. I, I did, did, what? <laughs> you just wanted to go because you I, like it. So anyway, I would like to yes. make note that you are not from Taiwan, so anybody who says like, like you're, oh, you fake foreigner, like, <laughs> do they say that? I've been told that a couple times actually, mm. in person once too, actually a couple times. Are that people who think I'm like half Taiwanese or something? Oh, um, I'm not. Um, and the reason she went there and she lived there is because of me. True, all true. Yeah, so I guess I did a good job of promoting Taiwan to you. <laughs> I guess so. It's worthy of it. It is, you know? yeah. That's kind of weird that like some place so amazing is not more well known by people in the US. Thanks for thanks for talking to me. I and tried. To thanks for watching this video. Mm. If you have any questions for my mom, please ask below in the comments. She Just, told me not to read them. I don't know what she thinks might happen. So I'm but... afraid that somebody might say something mean and you'll take it to heart. I might. Okay, so if you see anybody being mean, be sure to defend my mom in the comments. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for watching. Yeah. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Creators at Taiwan, Cat, is a Taiwan new media creator created. If you want to watch the latest videos of the most recent videos, you can download the Hami Video app and enter Cat's website.